Hey guys, it's Chan here from Laser Gaming, and I'm back with another Battlefield 5 video. In this video, we are going to again be talking about the hate that Battlefield 5 has been given, and I'm actually going to give you my opinion on whether I think it deserves the hate or not, because a lot of you are talking about how, oh, you've been hating on the game so much, and all that kind of stuff, and I just sort of want to, uh, one, say why I think it's getting the hate, and two, say why I'm not necessarily sure if it should be getting it, and that kind of stuff. We're going to be going through that in this video, guys. Subscribe down below if you are new here for everything Battlefield 5. I'm going to have more videos about the different class types coming out. Really cool stuff with the archetypes, uh, which is a new class thing, and much more like that. And also I'm doing a PSN giveaway at the end of the month, or Xbox, or Steam. Again, I always forget to mention that, but whatever platform you're on, I'll be doing a giveaway for that. And I'll probably be doing a Battlefield 5 giveaway before the beta as well. But, Battlefield 5 hate. So, we have to look no further than the trailer to see this. The trailer has 200,000 likes and 175,000 dislikes to the recording of this video. More than pretty much any other Battlefield uh, trailer almost combined for the dislikes. And it's basically 50-50. Uh, this is sort of COD level hate. And I think it's more... It kind of speaks to the industry rather than just... Um, Battlefield itself, it, people in the industry have become a lot more, I don't want to say selfish, but they really want what their game is, and if they don't get their game, they're going to be very mad. Um, and it, it, me personally too, I really wanted a either Vietnam or Modern Shooter, uh, it's not necessarily Vietnam, but a Bad Company 3 or Modern Shooter, and when I didn't get that, it's kind of mad. And it's sort of just us as gamers being, because there's so many games out there, we can be like, oh, we could go to this game, but I want Battlefield to do it just like that other game did it. And so we get kind of mad, and um, so pretty much just for being World War II, it was going to get a certain amount of hate from people. Now, another thing that contributed to it was having um, one of the main characters in the trailer be a woman with a prosthetic arm. I don't necessarily agree with it, um, the hate for it. Um, I also don't necessarily agree with having... Um, a character like that is the sort of main character that they showed in the trailer. Um, I think it maybe should have been someone else, but at the same time, I sort of acknowledge their decision is trying to tell like a sort of story of war and sort of showing off the different customization they have. Um, but a lot of people were very, very against this, um, and that's definitely contributed to the dislikes as well. Just and as well, having a woman on the cover of the game also offended a lot of people, and that would lead to it as well. Um, and then lastly is basically just the production quality of the trailer. I dislike the video mostly because of the production quality of the trailer. I was like, come on, guys. We knew a lot better than that. Uh, we did so much better than that in Battlefield 1. Battlefield Hardline even did better. Like, all these other games did so much better than this. And it's like, they probably have the biggest budget they've ever had at this point. The fact that they made a trailer that was basically just one continuous scene was kind of weird. I know they sort of want to show like the flow of battle and that kind of stuff, which was cool, but you really want to show off a lot more of the game than just sort of one map, one mode. You want to show off multiple campaign stories, multiple missions, multiple multiplayer maps, multiple characters, all that stuff they should have shown, but they didn't, and I think that it got a lot of hate because of that as well. Now, do I think this hate is deserved? No, I don't. The main reason is, is we haven't really seen full gameplay yet. We don't know all the game mechanics, we don't know all the maps, we don't know all the modes, we don't know how many guns are going to have in the game, we don't know what the weapons are going to feel like, we don't know the cool features, the map design, any of that stuff that for most of us is the reason why we play Battlefield, we don't know any of that yet. So to give this game so much hate and say that we're not going to buy it yet, I'm buying it just because I make videos off of it. Um, but for a lot of you guys, I know a lot of people have been saying that they're just skipping it this year, I'd say wait until EA Play at least. Um, it's not a very good first impression that they're making right now. It is not looking good um, for their just sort of impression in the public eye. Um, but if you listen to um, other YouTubers that are sort of have the inside information, are able to talk about the game, they do seem optimistic. Um, Jack Frags is someone who openly criticized Battlefield 1, and the fact that he seems this optimistic about this game gives it credibility that it will at least be better than Battlefield 1, <laughs> which is... Not necessarily a giant feat in my opinion, but it's still promising for the game. So I'd say no, it doesn't deserve this hate. Um, no game should get a ton of hate off of the trailer unless they blatantly go against the community. Um, the community wanted more customization. The community wanted World War II. Um, and so they sort of obeyed both those major things. Um, they just happened to 
do it in a little bit of a weird way, but I'd say that a lot of the changes they're doing, um, especially with the gun mechanics and stuff like that, are positive. So I'm going to try to look on the bright side after making so many negative videos about this game um, and just keep an open mind for the future um, that we're going to find out at EA Play. EA Play is really going to be when we're able to judge the game and see whether we're going to buy it or not. I know for a portion of the people, probably maybe 15 or 20%, they just can't do it. Having all these weird customizations will probably take them out of the game and make it too non-immersive for them to play it. And I mean, that sucks, but I understand that when you really want an immersive experience, you're not going to get that when there's that much customization. But for a lot of us, we are just in it for the gameplay aspects. And um, having good gameplay aspects is something we won't figure out until EA Play. So I'm holding out until then, guys. Tell me what you guys thought about this down below in the comment section. Do you agree, disagree? We've been killing it on the comments lately, guys. I really appreciate all the comments you guys have been writing, good and bad. Always nice to hear feedback and discussion in the comment section. Um, but again, that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.